Well, you've got to, in order to be a good toy retailer, you've got to have a, a complete variety of toys. And if you're going to carry trucks, there's no other line to carry but brooder trucks. That's just plain and simple of it. So, I mean, there's lots of things you need to have a successful, full and vibrant toy store. And brooder would be one of them. Um, people buy things in other mass market areas. Um, and even it's that use and abuse and toss. But with brooder, it's something they buy and they keep for a lifetime. Again, like I said, we have a lot of parents who have passed down their brooder toys. And coming into our store, knowing that we're a specialty store, first of all, there's very few in the area that carry. We have people that drive an hour just to buy a brooder piece from us. Um, you know, they, a lot of other retailers don't know what they're missing by not carrying it because it does attract a, a nice group of people. I mean, with all bricks and mortar retailers, all of us are worried about, A, can we sell it? Um, and B, do we have to look over our shoulders all the time for price? Um, am I ordering items while simultaneously looking at Amazon to see what they're selling them for and making my buying decisions based on what the pricing landscape is out on the internet? With Bruder and a handful of other companies, um, for the most part, we consider them to be kind of blind items. You know, the items come in, they sell themselves based on the quality and the packaging. Initially, we were most concerned about the price. Um, we learned as business went on that you need to kind of worry less about that as long as you're providing value. And that's what we like about Bruder is that the value is definitely there. Uh, I mean, I, I have Bruder vehicles that are decades old and they just last forever. So I think the value is definitely there. And once we brought them in, it was pretty easy to get past that as we saw how much people enjoyed them, they loved them. And it's just fantastic.